Hey, sneaking Linux pack today. Look what we've got, yes. Linux Mint Debian Edition GNOME. Okay, released a few days ago, and I'm just going to check it out to show you what it's all about. Now remember, this is going to be a rolling release. Yes, a rolling release based on Debian, so it's a little bit different. I'm wondering if they're going to go to Debian full-time personally, but only time will tell. Because I keep reading things and they just contradict each other every time, so just wait and see, really. But anyway, enough of the chit-chat, let's have a look at what we got. Now, it's GNOME, very clean, very nice. I do like a desktop background, super duper. Click on Menu, as you can see, it comes up straight away. Usual, nice minty stuff, like computer, home folder, network, desktop, rubbish. Software manager, we'll go into in a bit. Package manager, we'll go into a bit. Control Center to configure your system, the terminal, lock your screen, log out, quit. On here we have our favourites, well, what it says are my favourites anyway. So we have web browser, mail client, Banshee as the media player. I don't like that one, I always do that. Pigeon for messaging, calculator, text editor, sound, terminal, change your monitor resolution and position and stuff, and system monitor. So we'll open up the system monitor and see what it's got to say. Now I'm running a dual core here. But it's not seeing dual cores, okay? Not seeing dual cores at all. Maybe I'm doing the same wrong. Maybe I'm not. Or maybe that's just the way it's going to work. I don't know. Anyway, under memory and swap, it's only using 136 meg of memory. That's quite low for this, isn't it, really? But it's because it's using Debian. If you've seen some of my videos on Debian from many moons ago, well, it's not many moons ago, it just seems like it, you'll see that it also doesn't use much memory either, okay? Install was interesting, different installers that I'm used to for Linux Mint. Very nice, gave me something to look at in the bottom bit while it's doing it along. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. That was fine by me, okay? Fine by me, yes. Give me that. Back to the menu, okay? I'm going to go to all applications. I'm not going to make this too long because most of you already know what it looks like. This is for some of you who don't and may be interested in using it. So we have all, so I won't do that one, but we'll go straight to accessories, okay? Archive Manager, that's all right. Calculator, I've said before. Character Map, yeah, been there. Root, Terminal. Take a screenshot off your desktop if you so wish to do so. Tomboy Notes, there. Right, under Graphics. Now, I've installed Blender because I just wanted to make sure it was working. And it is, thank God for that. I did have trouble with one of the others, though, and I'll show you in a bit, okay? There you go. Blender's all ready to roll of the rock. Very nice indeedy. Okay, that's that gone. Well, back to the menu again. This is the only thing I don't like about this type of gnome. Keep going back to the corner. Your Gimpy there comes up really nice. Gititum. LibreOffice draw. Yeah, well, that comes with a suite. Comes with a full suite of LibreOffice, by the way. Under Internet, I checked out to make sure it didn't install Chrome in my browser, which it does, so that was hunky dory. Firefox is the browser of its choice, which is quite nice. It's only version 5, though, not 7.01, like we'd have in MacPub. So, yeah. No, 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 no. Thunderbird for your mail, as I said, Pigeon's there as well. Transmission and XChat already installed for you. Right, under the office, as I said, full LibreOffice suite for you to do stuff. Remember, this is a DVD, it's over a gig of stuff. It's no CD size anymore, real pity, but never mind. Banshee, as I said, not my favourite. Brazero, fine. No Men Player, there's a movie player, M Player, Media Player, Sam Recorder, and VLCS Standard are very nice indeed. System Tools. Plenty there, really. I mean, I could go on forever. But most of you know what's going to be here anyway. This is just to let you have a quick look. Under administration, you do your firewall, domain blocker. I like Actually, I like that bit, the domain blocker. Although I've never used it, I like that bit. Okay. Synaptic is there also, if you want to do synaptic stuff. And preferences, you can do your Bluetooth, your compass settings and stuff like that. And, you know, just change all your bits and bobs. Right. That's enough of that, really, isn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'll go back to favourites again. I'll open up the web browser, just show you Firefox. We have five, four, here we go. Very nice indeed. We'll open that right out so you can see what we're doing. As you can see, this is the one we got here. This is the known version, and it's 2011.09. Now, I have actually downloaded the other one as well, the XFCE version. I've done that last night. I might do a video on it, I might not. I'll just see if it's, any, if it's worth doing, basically. By the way, this is a 32-bit one. It's not the 64. Okay, that's that out of the way. Back to the menu, right, software manager, this is what I want to show you, because uh, if you're used to Ubuntu, you're used to the Ubuntu software centre, but it's got a software manager like Debian here, so it's very, very similar, but, you know, does the same job, if you know what I mean. But right. one of the problems I had was under sound and video, okay, so if I click sound and video, here is open shot, now I bet it won't do it now, 
It won't actually let me do anything with open shot, which is good, really, for the simple reason that it's better to go and get the PPA because you're updated all the time. That's why I installed Blender, actually. But, okay, it doesn't download. But yeah, just put the PPA in, no big problem. There is lots and lots of other stuff here. That's LED Max is here, one of my other ones I use. So if I click him, you see if he comes there. It's not installed. All you do is, so I'll make that bigger for you. Make it nice and bigger, so you can see what we're doing. All you do is click on install, like you would in any other Debian based distro. You type in your password, that's Fred Blogs, up your bum, and you basically wait for it to download. And as you can see down the bottom here is the action bar. It tells you what it's doing. It's going along there. It's nice and quick, really. For an afternoon when the kids are home, yes, yeah, very interesting indeed. I do use LED Max, I also use OpenShot, I also use Caden Live, I also use Cinderella. I actually use all of them, all right, because they've all got good bits and bad bits. So, you know, use one that chooses for you, really. So, if you want to do something really, really simple, LED Max is just fine. And it's a lot more stuff, I tell you. Okay, we're waiting now. Done up again. Oh, these are reviews that they like it, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Oh, is that done yet? It should be done any minute. It should be installed in roundabout. Now, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it smaller so it goes there. I'll move that up there. This is the thing when I installed Blender. It came up as not installed and didn't actually change, all right? And then just when I got rid of it, it was there, basically. So, we'll let do that. And we'll go back to the menu again. Right, Control Center will open. It should open okay. You should all be used to this. Look, it's all the same. Lovely, easy, get things done. You know, if, if you like GNOME, this is ideal. This is where Ubuntu has fell down with its main version that's using Unity. They should give you the option to have ordinary GNOME all the time, not just as a fallback, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you, you know what I mean, yeah. Anyway, that's not actually doing anything, is it? And normally it should come up as installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close him, see if it's actually in the menu, okay? So if I go to All Applications... <coughs> Sound and video, AVD Max. Is it done? Of course it is. So that's another little problem I have found. But it works okay, so don't worry about it too much. Right, on the whole, I rather like Linux Mint Debian Edition GNOME. Very nice indeed. If you don't want to go to Ubuntu, don't go to Linux Mint Debian. But remember, the other one is based on Ubuntu, so we're half of one of one and half of one of the other. What do I do, give it out of five? You know what? Five out of five, because it's quite faultless. We get them little problems out of the way of in the installation package manager and all stuff like that. You'll be all hunky dory, and I'll be happy chappy. Sneaky uh, Linux uh, going out. I'll be seeing you later. Oh, by the way, yar, totally like your priority. Yar. Bye, boy. Yar.